If you've ever worked with animation in Procreate, you know every time you add a frame, you're adding a layer to the image. So if you want to animate a really complex image like this one here that has multiple layers, there's really no way to do it frame by frame, layer by layer, because it's already broken up into a ton of layers. If I were to go and turn on Animation Assist, every layer becomes another frame. If I were to play it, it just plays frame by frame. I can't animate each part of the burger in this case and have the rest of the burger on the picture at the same time doing it frame by frame the quote unquote regular way. But there is a way to do it and that's by using groups. So for example, here is another burger image I made. And if I play it, it animates the way I would want it to, the way you might expect it to. It still has all the layers that were in the previous image, except they're all together in groups. So here's all the layers, but I also have a bunch of groups. In this case, the groups of layers becomes a frame and all the individual layers go into that group. Let me go back to that other image. So let's explain that a little bit better. So groups are layers that are, as it says, grouped together. When you're doing animation, if you put layers into a group, the group becomes a frame. How do I group? So if I wanna group the entire burger together, I'm gonna to select a layer. I'm gonna swipe the other layers to the right a tiny bit and let go and you'll see they get this blue highlight. And up in the top right, it says group. If I tap group, they all get squished into one group titled new group, which you can rename if you want. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I'm gonna close it up so it looks like one layer. And you'll see in the animation timeline, that is all one frame right now. I can duplicate that group. So now I have two of them and I can go into that group, select a layer, the slice of bacon in this instance and move it up, close the group. And then in the animation, it looks like it's moving. If I play it, it goes back and forth. Of course, I can adjust that with frames per second. And I can keep going through duplicating this group and moving it piece by piece in my animation. Or move whatever needs to be moved. Now, if I wanted to introduce something new into the animation on its own layer, I can still add a layer of the regular way. It shows up down here as a frame and I can draw on that layer. However, it doesn't have the burger itself in it right now because I made a new layer. Maybe I wanted to change scenes or do something like that. But I can also um, add a layer. I'm going to put this at the bottom of my layer list. Tap the thumbnail in the animation timeline, make it a background. So now, just like if this was a animation with only frames and no groups, I can make a background. I'm just gonna blur it. And you can see it shows up on every frame. Play the animation, it's there. So once you get groups, just think of groups as a layer that has a whole bunch of other layers in it. It's a way to make a complex animation in Procreate. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and I'll see you next time.